Good morning, Summit family and friends. Welcome to our morning devotions. It is Monday, May the 10th, and we're excited and glad that you've decided to join us. We hope you'll be with us all week, Monday through Friday, as we look at Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Paul, in these verses, describes the Christian life or our relationship with Jesus Christ as a race. That's an interesting way to look at it, isn't it? A race. And in these, past, in these three verses, Paul shares with us ways that will make us successful as we run this race. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax. Let's see what God has in store for us. Follow with me as I read chapter 12 of Hebrews, and I'm just going to read verse 1 this morning. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that trips us up, and let us run with endurance this race that God has set before us. Paul starts off and he says, we are to run this race with endurance. Before I start, let me ask you a question. How do you approach your relationship with Jesus Christ? How do you approach your life of faith? Do you see it as maybe a walk at the mall? You know, one of those things that you'll do if you have time, and if you don't, well, okay, you'll catch it at another time, but it's not all that important. Maybe you approach your relationship with Jesus Christ like a jog. You know, I'm going to go out and jog two or three miles. I'm not going to strain. I'm not going to run fast. Uh, I'm just going to take it nice and easy. And uh, then I'll go on about my day and about the rest of my activities. Or do you approach your relationship with Jesus Christ like a race? I want us to look at three things here this morning real quick. And then the, in the last phrase of verse 1, Paul says, Let us run this race with endurance. Three things. First of all, this race is a little bit different than most races. In most races, you're running to beat everybody else. You're competing against everybody else in that race. And your goal is to beat them, to come in first, and for them to lose. That's not the way this race is. The Christian life, the, the, your relationship with Jesus Christ, Paul says, let us. It's almost like he's saying, hey, we're in this together. We're running this race as a team. We're together in this race. We're not competing against each other. My relationship with Jesus Christ is not a competition between you and me. It is a race, but it's not a competition between you and me. You and me are in this together. As part of the body of Christ, we are there to encourage one another, to lift each other up, and yes, to help each other run the best we can be, we can run. Also, too, Paul says that we are to run this race. He calls it a race. And that word in the Greek used there means agony. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this race that we are running is not a stroll at the mall. It's not an easy jog. It is a race that includes agony. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And in a marathon, there will be times when the race is pure agony. There are times when the race gets tough. There are times when the muscles hurt. There are times when you're thirsty. There are times when you're lonely, it seems, and it almost seems like no one else is around you. That's the kind of race that you're running. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it is a marathon that will last the rest of your life. Are you ready for that kind of race? Now, in order for you and I to run that kind of race, it takes something. And Paul calls that something endurance. Paul says, let us run this race with endurance. And endurance 
is the steady determination to keep going. De endurance is that determination that says when my legs are burning or when I'm dying of thirst or when I am so lonely I want to give up or when I don't think I can run up another hill, my endurance keeps me determined to keep going. Remember that. That is the first step to success in running this race of faith. And in our relationship with Jesus Christ, it is a steady determination to keep going, to not give up, but to see this race as something that invades every area of my life. How about you? Do you have a steady determination to keep going? Or does every little thing under the sun distract you from this race? Does everything else in life keep you from running this race with endurance? You know, I think about endurance and I realize that to run a race with endurance takes focus. It takes a concentration on the task at hand. Let me encourage you and you and myself this morning to be willing to run this marathon in a way that brings honor and glory to God. And it begins by running it with endurance. Thank you for joining us this morning. We hope you'll join us for the rest of the week as we look at other ways that we can run this race in a way that honors and glorifies God. See you tomorrow.